All right, what's up? No fucking starting soon today. I'm not fucking around with that bullshit. And we're going to get right into it because I heard some crazy ass shit on a podcast that I wanted to talk about real quick. Two research teams. You see that? Two. That is more than one. Very important details there. Not, not really. I'm just, I'm wanting to believe this. So, you know, at least we got two out there. Teams reverse signs of aging in mice. But doubts remain about whether cell reprogramming technique could one day help. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, loser. Yes, it's, yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, to test the theory of why animals get home... Oh, home. God damn, I can't talk. To test the theory of why animals get old, a team has induced DNA breaks in mice and seemingly accelerated their aging. Both rodents pictured are about 16 months old, middle age for the species, but the right one has his DNA. <laughs> Man, poor fucking right mouse who just has to take a massive L for the betterment of humankind here. He's like, <laughs> he's like 30 years old or 40 years old, equivalent to us, and they're like, yeah, we're going to make him a fucking geezer now. So I, I feel for this guy, but thanks for your sacrifice for the greaterment of uh, society. A decade after Kyoto University biologist Shinya Yama, Yama, Yamanaka won a share of Nobel Peace Prize for discovering a cocktail of proteins that reprogram adult cells into versatile stem cells, two teams argue the proteins can turn back the clock for entire organisms, perhaps one day humans. That's the part I want to hear. That's the part I want to hear. Not this fucking, there's fucking doubts. Hell no. Get the fuck out of here. We're going to live forever, guys. And um, let's just check out another one. Old mice grow young again in study. Can people do the same? So yeah, that's kind of the big question is uh, if this can graduate to humans and if it should graduate to humans. Because <laughs> for me personally, I don't necessarily want to live forever, but you know, living a little longer than like 80 or 90 or let's be real fucking like 65. That'd be nice, you know, uh, that'd be nice, because I personally have a lot of anxiety around death, and thinking about it, like, can keep me up at night, so, but also another side of me is, like, living forever would kind of suck, because living is pain, and I hate existing in this world, so, you know, you, you gotta, it's a little balance of both there, in, in my mind, so that's why I'm like, maybe we raise it a little bit, maybe not live forever, so, in Boston labs, old blind mice have regained their eyesight, developed smarter, younger brains, and built healthier muscle and kidney tissue. See, those are the mice that are taking the W with this one. They're, they're, they're doing good here. Uh, what else? With devastating... On the flip side, young mice have prematurely aged with devastating results to nearly every tissue in their body. So, yeah. And then you got the mice that just get fucked over. Okay. The experiments show aging is a reversible process capable of being driven forwards and backwards at will, said anti-aging expert David Sinclair, a professor of genetics at the Blav Blavnik Institute uh, at Harvard Medical School and core director, core director, co-director of the Paul F. Glenn Center for Biology and Aging Research. So the thing that's cool about this is if you guys don't know why scientists use mice a lot during studies is weirdly enough they're very similar to humans at least in the way that bodies react to certain things so you know if mice can do it why the fuck can't people do it see like why do scientists <laughs> yeah i'm yelling at google why do scientists use mice <laughs> mice and rats have long served as a preferred species for biomedical research and while due to their anat anatomical physiological and genetic similarities to humans there we go mice are living forever humans are too let's fucking go we won society we did it we win good job guys but yeah but that um but yeah of course that begs the question of you know with having a limited amount of time on earth that can kind of play into how Oh, fuck me. With having a finite amount of time on Earth, uh, that's a big motivating thing for a lot of people, you know. You strive to do the best you can with your circumstances. You try strive to do all that you can because it's a known thing that we have a finite, short amount of time relative to the universe and the world that we have on Earth to do things and, like, make a name for ourselves and whatnot. So... 
that overall begs the question of is this a net good for society and humankind overall or is living forever or living at least longer going to cause some other complications that would be very bad for all of us but yeah i'm not going to get too deep into it really i just kind of wanted to share this news so everyone call your grandma you're she's sticking around for a while longer so call her give her the good news and you know it's been a fucking good year it's been a f great year for old people lately because you also got there was a recently a bunch of all god i keep yelling at google like there's a bunch of alzheimer's research that has been happening recently like apparently all of the research for alzheimer's that we have was based around studies that turned out to be kind of bullshit and not very accurate and so within like the past year there's been rapid advancements into curing alzheimer's because now they figured out the research was all shit pretty much recent breakthroughs in alzheimer's research provide hope for patients while there is no cure researchers say a newly approved drug advanced testing and increasing knowledge about the disease may improve patients lives so yeah of course there's not a cure but there might be soon now with all of this new development and research let's see if they go into that because this is just shit i heard uh, okay well i'm failing to find this shit uh but yeah there's developments in alzheimer's great year for old people and also let's not forget to mention social security increase went the fuck up and now like fucking shit's shit's popping off for old people now approaching age 62 what you need about security is eight point that's something else but yeah there's like a 10 percent increase in social security uh benefits for elderly people shit's popping off for for older people this year like fucking age is irrelevant as we've learned today alzheimer's is gonna be irrelevant soon and fucking more get them bags get that bag grandma get them fucking social security check bags but yeah that's basically what i wanted to talk about here today was just the fact that fucking mice are living forever now so let's fucking go shout out scientists shout out medicine that's pretty dope uh yeah let me know what you think about that